If there's anybody who can give some insight into the fraught relations between police and the public right now, Ray Kelly just might be the man. Tonight, the ABC News contributor and two-time New York police commissioner reflects on a lifetime spent serving his ever-evolving community and today's game changers in his new memoir, Vigilance. ABC's This Week anchor George Stephanopoulos has the exclusive. So once a cop, always a cop. Ray Kelly has walked this beat his entire life. From New York street kid to two terms as the city's police commissioner. His first precinct right here on the Upper West Side. This was your precinct? I used to work here as a police officer, yes. Kelly first became police commissioner in October 1992, just a few months later. In New York City, a massive explosion beneath the twin towers of the World Trade Center. It appears that the explosion that occurred was in all likelihood the result of some type of explosive device. Tell us about that. It was a real jolt. Nobody anticipated it. Should we have? Probably. It could have been so much worse. The goal was to have one building go into the other building. That didn't happen then, but something much more horrific happened in uh, 2001. That's your second tour as, as commissioner, and everything has changed. Things have changed throughout the world. During your tenure as commissioner, the crime rate in New York City came down. But a lot of people say it came at great cost. You know the criticism of your stop and frisk approach to policing. What is your response to those critics? Not everybody like stop and frisk, I, I understand that. But if you go into communities of, of color, they're very much concerned about crime. Crime rates are higher there. They want to be protected. The fact of the matter is, the stop right here was lower than it was in Philadelphia, lower than it was in, in Baltimore. Just this spring, polls show that the confidence in police overall in the country, lowest level they've been in 23 years. It's a real problem. When you have incidents such as the horrific events that happened in North Charleston, South Carolina, where Walter Scott was gunned down by a police officer, these high-profile events set us back quite a, quite a ways. And when you see these protests all across the country saying Black Lives Matter, and African Americans say to you, I'm sorry, I just don't believe the police have our best interest at heart? What do you say? Well, I think you have to work with the community. It's no easy task. You have to strive to reflect the community that you serve. For Nightline, I'm George Stephanopoulos in New York. Vigilance is in bookstores now.